What up, YouTube? What up, family? What up, you savages? Hope you guys are having a good Thanksgiving. I know it's not Thanksgiving today. Actually, it is Thanksgiving today. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving myself because I'm part Taino and part Inca, and that's just the way me and my family rock. But happy Thanksgiving to all of y'all and anybody that celebrates it. You tune in the SGK TV network or SGK 23. We'll explain what the 23 is about later on. It has nothing to do with Jordan. So first of all, I got this review. I want to do this review for y'all. Got a lot of stuff here after the robbery again that um, it's all unboxings. Shit that I've never even seen. 80% uh, that i never even seen. There are some things where I just opened the box, that, like, okay, it's there, bow. Not worried about that. I'm worried about this other 150K plus the 100K in jewelry, quarter meal type joint. So I wasn't really, in, you know what I'm saying? I, I think you guys can understand. So we're going to get right into it. But first of all, peace and blessings to everybody. Salute to everyone, ladies and gentlemen. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Could have been anywhere in the world, man. But you guys are tuned in with me right now on the SGK TV show on the network, and it's your boy GK, Rico D, TD Santorum, if I'm doing music, Diego Fuego, he for days, day, whatever it is, it's your boy, and I keep it a buck all day long. So we're going to do this review. I found this box because I dropped a lot of stuff. I told you guys I broke the tripod, some boxes dropped. I don't know if I did that video or not, but I stepped on the tripod and broke, had to get the other one, dropped some boxes. Yeah, yeah, I mentioned that on the mid video, so... um. I just grabbed a box, a Jordan 1 box, and I don't know what it is. I'm dead honest. I don't know what it is, and we're going to review that. I know it's a StockX pickup because I had a lot of StockX uh, double buys, triple buys, quadruple buys of the same type of stuff. But before I get into that, I want to make sure that I uh, give a big shout out to Rope Lace Supply. If you guys want to get any type of laces, Rope Lace Supply is a dope spot. They got great prices. They've always been solid, great customer service, great quality. And if I buy from Rope Lace Supply, I buy from Laced Up Laces as well. Those are my two go-to joints, Rope Lace Supply and Laced Up. I'll do videos on that later on, but just for the heck of it, Rope Lace Supply, you guys know I'm doing custom sneakers in my own sneaker line as well. So Rope Lace Supply, shout out to them. You can see you got, you got like white joints. We got like the off-white joints. We got like teal joints. We got off-white flat joints. We got off-white style rope joints. Off-white flat rope joints. You guys can see I got these type of joints for these babes that's right here. These babes with the uh, air unit. Um, I don't rock any babes unless they got air units. You know what I'm saying? These are dead stock. They're just very, very vintage and old. You know what I'm saying? And I thought these would look good with these. Plus, again, we're doing custom sneakers and my own sneaker line. So we're going to need a lot of laces, a lot of accessories. And I got a lot, lot, bunch more. Flat rope as well. So shout out to Rope Lace Supply. This is the top stock X shirt from... Um, when you spent twenty, when you had twenty five k or more sales with them, they did a contest where they gave you this limited edition stock X shirt with the Cyber Monday threes, which I believe I still have. Cyber Monday threes are like pinnacle quality. They're all black, white bottoms, white laces, look dope. But anyways, they give you this shirt with the Cyber Monday threes. The only difference is they had the stock X green on the back. So I got that with the shirt with the threes. With a supreme beanie and a cause uh doll figure figure type of joint. Obviously, I don't have none of that left except this, and I believe I have the beanie. Gotta look for it. So just in case. And these, you know, it is what it is. And here is the box that I picked from the ones because I was doing the mids and a lot of them fell and things like that. So I said, let me do this. I did look at the tag, so I know what it is. So we're gonna get right to it. What do we got? Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, but let's look at the colorway, because one thing gave it away for me. We got Jim Red, Black, White, and Photo Blue. The Photo Blue gave it away, I think. 10 US, 9 UK, 44 Euro. Regular Nike box. Ba -da -ba -da. And let's see what these are about. 
first, uh, just in case, from whatever it is. Let's make sure we get them legit checked type of joints out the way. I don't need fakes to do a legit check. I just need the real one. I don't know how, how you would do that. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, there it is. You can pause it. I did it one way. I did it another way. You know what I'm saying? Peace and blessings, man. Again, you dig? All right, so stock X. Let me see. Bam, blam. You get that right? Like always. I used to like the old receipts from stock X, to be honest with y'all, man. And, uh, see? So this is what we got going on. Jordan 1 Retro High Spider-Man Origin Story. I paid 263, 264. So somebody made about a hundred bucks because they're about 450, 500 right now. Feel me? Bought these twice. First time retail. Second time from StockX. And this is the second one, I guess. Never looked at them. Never seen them. Don't know what to expect. I wouldn't lie to you guys. All right, so let's take them out first. I did put the light on because I knew they had the the little spidey dots on them. But let me get them out. So we have white tissue paper inside the box just in case. I want to make sure that the reviews are detailed because I do the reviews for people that want to buy stuff that they don't have. You know what I'm saying? And I want to make sure you guys get detailed reviews. Review is not just about the sneaker. So first, let's do kind of like a review review. Like So the Spider-Man origin story, I'm sure most of you guys know, it comes from that little movie, the origin story, right? With my partner, you know, my Boricua partner. You know, he was rocking the Jays and the Spider-Man. comes from that movie and they took, they took that and like the Jordan 1 Chicago's and gave it a little twist on them. And that's where we get the Spider-Man origin story, origin story, Jordan 1 Retro High OGs. Let's take a look at them. And something I'm seeing right now, it's like, damn, I did not know they was kind of like that, that butter. I'm a little impressed and a little weirded out, to be honest with y'all, because I didn't know it was, huh, it's a review, but so I don't want to. Hype myself up. All right, so we have an extra pair of laces in red. We got blue tips. So we're going to have the Spider-Man theme, right? As far as the accents, the blue and red, I'm assuming. So we got the red joints with the blue tips on the extra laces. That's how they hang right there. No Charlemagne. But that's how they hang. Again, no Charlemagne. Just for you guys that legit check and things like that. Blam like that. Hang that low. No Charlemagne. The StockX hang tag. They seem they're a little bigger now to me. Again, scan your QR codes. Scan your boxes. Put them on your StockX inventory your catalog so you know what you have things of that nature you know you see what your shit is worth you got you have your collection that's how i was able to that's how i'm going to be able to pretty much win this lawsuit because i have everything documented not just in video but my catalogs what i paid was worth receipts so on and so on one thing i'm noticing before i start the review from top to bottom is I'm really impressed and I didn't know. I didn't know. It was, hold on. Nah, really? Really? I didn't know this shattered backboard. Uh, you know, OG type of quality on these. Damn. Yo, so like the quality of the leather is butter. For real, for real. Huh. Both of them? Huh. Yeah. Huh. 
Hmm. Okay. I see. I know when they do collaborations, they, you know, they upgrade, but I didn't know this was like this. Huh. Review. So again, they take a, a spin off the Jordan 1 OG High Chicago with the colorways. Um, we just have different materials on these joints. Um, obviously, we have this 3M with the, the Spider-Man theme with the dots type of joint. Um, we have pat, a patent leather outline on the swoosh. Um, this is not leather. This is not new buck. Same as up here. This is not leather. This is not new buck. I don't know what type of material you would call it, but they kind of did the same thing like they did right here. You can feel the dots and they're micro on here and micro on here, and you can feel the dots on here. It's like a puffed, half leather, half new buck with some texture. Little micro dots like this. <laughs> micro dots. <laughs> Same as um, back here. You dig what I'm saying? Spin on the Jordan 1 Chicago, of course, with an icy sole bottom. Um, with the Spider-Man blue and red, of course, on the tongue. What I'm seeing. Let's check it out. Nike Air. Get the stuff out the way. Blue and red is a good combination of color. Like, I love blue and red joints, like the American type of colorways. You guys know. Again, on the Jordan, this one is, you know, shiny. Check out the mid video. They look like the, uh, not the mid video, the, the, the Vogue threes look like diamonds. Make sure the, the trademark logo, the TM, is lined up, the font is on point, you know what I'm saying? Make sure the R and the D on your Jordan 1's touch like that. Again, no Charlemagne. And uh, let's do the review real quick and review these joints. So on these joints, we have a icy bottom, which I love. I love icy bottoms, even though they're yellow and with time, it gives it that vintage look. I love when they do icy bottoms. Uh, that's why I hate a lot of the J's that I lost. But we're not going to get into that. When I go live, I will tell the story and go through everything. So we're not going to get into that. Because it gets me upset every time I do get into it or mention it. So the icy bottoms, you know, the icy blue type of wave. OG Nike bottom joints. As always, you got your stars. On the pivot point on the front, which are not going to last if you rock them. There is the toe cap. And there is the toe box. And I'm like, yo, I didn't know these was wavy like this. This, yo. <laughs> yo. I didn't know. These are the type of joints right now that. I might have to sell something and grab another pair at 450, 480 ship before three years when they're at 1500. Because these are, yo, I didn't know. A lot of you guys have them and know. I didn't know. Yo, again, the laces on the ones you should know by now. You know what I mean? You always should be able to see the stitching right here. And even if you do see the stitching, it should be pretty flawlessly perfect like that, lined up versus the mother joints. So, there's the bottom. The mid is white. Yep. Mid is white with the, you know, with that printing of like the little leaves type of joint. With the lights on right here, there's like a circle. Or something. Alright. But um, when I'm looking at them. Not looking into the camera. I don't see that at all. So I don't know what that is. If that's an imperfection. Or if that's something that you only see with the light. I would grab the black light. But I don't want to waste any more time. So as far as the red. You guys can see we have the spidey dots. That hit off with the 3M. Yo, they good quality. Even this is... T 
tumbled. The, the tumble on the red kind of gets lost because of this 3D Spidey dot printing. So they are super butter, and I am impressed. And that goes throughout the whole shoes. Obviously, that's the 3M popping. So when the lights hit, them Spidey dots going to jump off. Always above the swoosh, you should have two stitches. Not counting the one that hits the swoosh. Just one, two right there. Those one, two. Then that other one, the third one kind of is half and half. Just always look out for the way of that stitching. On the high OGs, always. Not the mids. The mids kind of cut on there. When we get to, to the inner, we have white grain tumbled just butter shatter backboard type of type of feel by the way my obsidian ones came out really really good and a lot of people's came out really really bad one thing i'm seeing about the swoosh is not patent leather is where they did the stitching that's patent leather so they took a strip and outlined the swoosh in patent leather black patent leather and the material on the swoosh let's see if you can see it let me lock in on them see it has the same little dots they're just micro and it's puffed out it's not it's not new buck it's not suede it's not leather this is the first time i ever seen it on a jordan that material it's the same as like this just micro done and again like i mentioned before when they do the stitching they use the material and sometimes they fold it or double it up so when they stitch it obviously you're pressing da -da 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 -da, you're pressing pressing and then it kind of puffs it gives it a puffy feeling when you use certain materials you dig what i'm saying if that makes any sense to anybody. That's what that is. Now, as far as what you would call this, I don't know. You can feel every dot. It's like half new buck, half leather, like grained. And, and that's the best way I can put it. Then when we get up here, again, we have the red with the 3M dots. Oh, they're butter, though. The Jordan Low was glossy, for sure. Right here. Same type of new buckish leather material, but you can feel every dot. Oh, wow. So uh, up here is the same. If you can see, you see all those little micro dots kind of like they have throughout the theme. You can, I, you, you rub your finger, you can feel them. And this is not leather. I mean, I'm assuming it is leather, synthetic, of course, whatever. But it's not your leather. It's not your patent leather. This is not new buck. This is not suede. I don't know what type of hybrid situation they did, but it's very puffy. And it, you can feel it. No Charlemagne, again. You can kind of feel the micro dots. Like you can feel them here, just very micro on the back. There's the back. Looking clean, man. Damn, I didn't know about these like that. On the inside, let's move on. Same situation. Look at that swoosh, though. They did that crazy. Stripped it with patent leather where they would stitch it. Hmm. And then used something <laughs> but yo that's dope they should do this is like i don't know i don't know i don't know never seen it before on the jordan one or i don't think any jordan the tongue is white again the nike air they come with let's see They come with black laces, regular flat. All right, they got red tips. Let's see, any Spider-Man joints, anything? Nah. So we got red tips on the black laces. 
Nice touch. They feel good. These are good quality. Check out the insole for security purposes. <laughs> Your, this one is like 50% indented type of joint. And we have 10, to uh, 10 through 10 and a half. And these are a size 10. And that's the shoe tree. There's no paper or nothing. That's the shoe tree for these. The footbed. Spider-Man boot blue or photo blue. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot lighter without the light. With the Nike Air in red. Let me see. Hmm. Nice kind of print on there. Not kind of your regular ones that would rub off or it feels different let's see if we can take a ticket look take a look at the ticket the snatch real quick there you go 10 us 9 uk there's the upc you guys can pause that for the upc code that should match your receipt the box obviously the ticket the snatch and that's how you kind of Stay on top of your money, you feel me? Yo, super impressed. I have to grab a second pair of these. Man, I don't see that's it just brings shit back. Like I like something three pairs minimum. This one again has an extra pair of laces, red. What y'all think? The red instead of the black, the black one black, one red. I kind of feel like the red with the blue. Especially tied up, kind of showing off the blue a little bit, would look dope. But, um, yo, this video is the quality. Like, yo, I didn't know. You guys know. I'll give you guys shots. It's on the bottom. Okay, so we have a reference number, price 160 Good job by StockX. I'll, I'll talk about the comment that the, the homie asked me about. The Travis Scott 6s. Like, I want to order them. I want to buy them from StockX. But I don't want to get got. Make sure you take a photo of your order. So when you buy something from StockX, Snapchat your order. You know, it says your order, how much you paid for it, the taxes, all that. Snapchat that. And send them an email and DM via Twitter. And let them know that, yo, I'm spending my monies with y'all. Take care of me. Look out. Make sure the QC quality control process and the verification process is on point. Please make sure you guys check no damaged boxes, no missing laces. I want the laces to be not snapped off the shoes. Please do a good verification process because StockX, I'm sure you guys know, like I know, with the UA and the fake type of jump off, what type of wave they're on. Just like you guys know, I know. So I'm just making sure that, you know, I'm spending my monies with you guys and letting you know that I mess with you guys and I'm on top of my monies. So when people know you're on top of your monies, they're going to take care of you because they know you're on top of your monies. You feel me? The quality is, is the wave, though. I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, yo, if you don't have them, you don't know what I'm talking about. If you got them and you're watching the video, you know what I'm talking about. But most people that watch my videos, watch them to get a thorough, detailed review because they're looking at something. That's why I do the videos the way I do them. I want to make sure I give you guys an honest opinion, an honest review, a good look. I go around the shoe. Give you my honest opinion. I'm going to tell you if these what the quote-unquote fours are trash or good. You know what I'm saying? I'm... I'm looking forward to getting them tomorrow or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because Jordans are fours are one of my faves. You dig? But if they're trash, I'm going to let you know. If they're a 7 out of 10, I'm going to let you know. But, yo, these are, to me, what else could they have done better? Um, they could have add, added um, blue laces with red and blue tips or black, black tips or black and white tips. They could have did that. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the icy bottom could have been switched to red, to black, or something like that. You know, but they had to throw it off from the Chicago 
ones. So icy bottoms. I dig it. I enjoy icy bottoms. But again, the point is that these are shattered backboard one quality as far as the leather. I'm not lying to you guys. You guys are looking at it. Not just one pair. Even this, and you're not going to notice it too much because we got this 3M stuff. But the red ain't no joke neither. And I love how they did the swoosh and, the, and this part on the ankle. This is something else. You can feel every little micro dot on here. Same as on here. The same way you can feel them on here. But again, that's not suede. That's not leather. It's a little puffy. I know that is because of the stitching, how they do the stitching, like I mentioned before, one of my previous videos. Yo, fire, nine out of 10. Gotta grab another pair. Gotta save some dough, but I'm putting the studio together. So, you know, hope you guys appreciate everything I'm doing, man. I didn't start like, yo, I need, you know, please donate, man. I need to put the studio together. It's 11K, man, donate, you know, so I can get the, the PC, the monitors, the microphone, the boards, the booth, you know, the mixer, the screens, the soundproofing, $500 L-Desk, you know, all the other stuff, headphones, all the wires, cables. So I didn't start like that. Put my money where my mouth is, made a move, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that now shit is going to be, we're at one right now. When this is done and we go live and everything's set up, we're going to be at 100. Especially the Freestyle Friday sessions. They're going to be lit. Really lit. You know, spectacular. Phenomenal. You know, astronomical. With the flows. It's going to be crazy, man. The beats and all that. I was even messing with the garage band on the iPhone and just in four minutes made a three-in-one chop. And I posted it like, yo, that kind of crazy out on the phones. Now you can, you know, get, get wavy like that. You know what I'm saying? But yo, Spider-Man Origins, uh, Origin, <laughs> Origin, <laughs> Origins, yeah, man, yo, must cop, really, like, and at 450 right now, and the reason I checked is because I checked StockX to get the limited edition box, you feel me, and now that I just seen these, I'm good, I just need to grab another pair of these, that way I can put one up. Oh, I don't even want to think about all this shit. Listen, I had 68 pairs of LeBrons or something like that. I have no LeBrons left. But some uh, three of the new stuff, 11s, Scooby-Doo's, Mint, What the 11s, that's it out of 64. Just to give you an idea, I was robbed for about a little bit over 400 dead stock boxes of inventory. Uh, and it's 150K right now. It was 138 like two months ago. So imagine in seven, eight months a year. That's why the off-white Chicago ones at 5,000 are out of reach for me now. You dig what I'm saying? Got to get the UNC ones real quick before these yellow ones drop. Because when the yellow ones drop, those going to be out of my reach. There's a lot of, like, my Nike Air Yeezys 2s and 1s, those are out of reach. I can't do solar red, pure platinums. In Red October, that's 17,000, 15,000 right there. That's something I lost and lost forever. Not including 100,000 of jewelry. About three kilos of gold. Out of those three kilos, maybe one and some change had diamonds. 27 watches. Out of those 27, about 19 were heavyweight watches. Rolexes, Breitling Super Avenger with diamond bezel, so on and so on. You feel me? I'm over a little bit quarter million lawsuit court fees attorney ain't no joke like on, it's like 70 racks to try to get this done but i'm not gonna let it go 25 years of work as a collector my passion all this and i'm doing this shit for y'all that's why i came back man keep it a buck 30 minute video so it is a popcorn show so light one up you know what i'm saying crack a bottle whatever you got to do you know what i'm saying because that's the way we do it we, we you know what i'm saying it's kind of like like the live shows but it's pre-recorded with your boy you know what i'm saying and again you guys are watching me unbox and look at my stuff all this stuff that i really don't care didn't care about because i'm trying to get all that other shit back this is stuff that was bought after and everything was robbed was throughout like a four and a half five year period 
So I didn't know, because I had a storage in my home. Why put it out of storage when I have a room that I can use as, as a storage? You dig what I'm saying? I didn't know shit was gone till like 80 boxes were missing. Because you could have took 50, 60, and not know. Because I had over 400 dead stock of inventory and a storage just in my home. You understand what I'm saying, guys? So when it was like 80 and shit was moved around on purpose, like make sure th this color. So see, I had a station and I'll be out. Yo, these are dope. These are fire. Nothing else to it. They're butter, leather, dope finishes, great theme off the Chicago ones. What else can I say? 1985. Now we got the origin Spider-Man off the movie. That's the theme. They put the icy bottoms. They put the Spider-Man touches with the blue and red, with the 3 m dots, with the special, you know, leather suede, with the micro special dots on them joints, extra laces, good cop. You know what I'm saying? There you go. SGK TV, your boy GK, Rico, Diego Fuego, and so on and so on. Peace and blessings. I love you guys. Before I go, right?